Alright guys, this is Bank Nifty and it's a weekly chart and most of the uh, people are thinking uh, I'm a day trader so why weekly chart is important. Alright, sometime in a small time frame like you can see if you uh, are a day trader if you want to see in 15 minutes uh, price are falling down continuously it is very difficult to find out support and resistance. At that time we are using Fibonacci. Alright. So suppose this is a A point, B point and we need an extension point like C. Alright, so where we have seen C is 161% extension. It is a probability by using Fibonacci. At that time we are confirming uh, by using weekly chart or daily chart. Right, we are uh, find out support and resistance. At that time you can see moving average just a little more below uh, this 161 extension this one 161 extension of Fibonacci this wave according to uh, small time frame like 15 minutes right so in that case we have seen there is a support all right so let me show you uh, here a little more gap in between this area so we need most reliable support so we are looking for more factor who are indicating as a support. So what is the more uh, more factor? So we are looking most recent or nearest swing point. So where we have seen? We have seen this area. Have you seen it? This area. It is act as a resistance. Price hit and reverse. Alright. Price almost drop down toward and reverse back. And here multiple rejection from this area and exactly we have seen uh, this 100 exponential moving average in weekly chart. That means we are looking for support right now. Alright. So I'll, I'll show you how to trade in this area. Alright. And another sign we have seen in previous market we have seen price are rejecting from moving average 100. Have you seen it? Price hit and reverse from. We have seen two rejection point here and another three rejection point from this uh, 100 exponential moving average all right so means this is a most reliable support uh, supporting line all right so if you want to see in this area we will find at least 61 or 61 percent retracement and weekly chart so let me show you another so that means how to uh, find out best support and resistance. Now in this area we have seen, have you seen it? This is a 50% retracement level. It is a probability from uh, uh, probability to reverse from this area or next we have seen there uh, you can say th uh, this will be 61% retracement from this area. Alright, so we have seen two supporting area, most important supporting area. Alright, now let's just jump to small time frame like uh, daily time frame h4 h1 like that so now you can see in daily chart we have seen there is a support all right exactly we have seen uh, support price not able to sustain below this support remember price not able to sustain below this area and price are pushing up all right but still they are running in a downturn uh, in a small time frame but in a daily and weekly still running in up and remember this is called correction this is called correction in a large time frame but small time frame this is running in a downtrend so correction point we have seen two significant point one is 29700 uh, which i already told yesterday uh, that is uh, 9 uh, 29700 and another 28200 have you seen or 28000 uh, 300 you can say here so we have seen most significant point means this is a support point so we are looking for buy in this area and if price break this support and we are looking for buy in this area all right if price break this area we are not looking for buy we will start continuous selling direction and from this area we, we are looking for buy again from this area and here we are looking for buy here all right so in that case we need a trend divergent pattern all right i already explained in my previous video how to identify the di uh, trend divergent pattern or counter trading uh, trend trading strategy all right 
Now I can see in H1 chart, <coughs> sorry, H4 chart, we have seen price are creating lower low and the lower high. Have you seen it? Lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. And it is a probability to create a new lower high. And where is the last point of this lower high? In that case, we will use uh, Fibonacci in a different way. All right, so this is called A point and this is called B point and we are looking for C point. Where is the C point? In that case, we are going to use, uh, you can say this is called Fibonacci and 61% are showing exactly where I place this as a raised trend line. Have you seen it? 61% retracement. Have you seen it? Somewhere here and exactly they are following as a support right now. All right, sorry, raise step right now. So, <coughs> sorry. Uh, let me show you. Now, in a small time frame, we, ha uh, we have seen it to look like that. That is a raise step line. So, if somebody have uh, buy position, they must close their position around 30,600. Right, 30,600. That is our raised trend line. Right, and in this area, we are looking for short again because in a small time frame, they are running in a downtrend. Right, still, we, we, we have not seen any counter trend trading strategy. So, that is where we are looking for short in this area. All right, so let me check it in 15 minutes how it should look like that. And 15 minutes, it should look like that, and the price are respecting moving average 200 somewhere here and somewhere 150 they are respecting so exactly we have seen there is a uh, raised trend line so once they appear uh, sell signal so definitely we will start selling in this area so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching